Coming up today, we take a train over the famous Nine Arch Bridge, Sri Lanka's number one Instagram and TikTok location. Today we're in Sri Lanka. I'll be taking you on a ride from Ella to Badula, which in itself is stunning, but then you have the added attraction of crossing this majestic bridge spanning a 300 foot gorge at a height of 80 feet. I came down here on a scooter the day before to get these shots, but it's easy to get to and from Ella by taxi. There's a cafe at the car park end and it's also pretty level ground. I'm sure you'll agree, it's absolutely stunning. Okay, it's now the next day and we're going to be catching the mixed freight and passenger train service up to Badula. I totally fell in love with the Sri Lankan railway network and all its colonial British buildings and quirks. Just look at this station, it's just like being in the UK in the 1950s. There are timetables, benches and a ticket window. You are only allowed access to the platforms around 15 minutes before the train is due to arrive. Big thanks to Level 8 for sponsoring this video. Now I travel a lot for work and Level 8 is my go-to choice as their cases are ultra lightweight but still glide along effortlessly on any type of floor. The 28 inch luminous trunk case is the perfect choice when you need some extra space for those longer trips. All Level 8 luggage offers exquisite, sleek and practical design. Just look at them. Level 8 are giving my viewers a special discount of 10% off any of their products by heading to level8.com and entering the promo code EUROTRIP10. Once again, a big thanks to Level 8 for sponsoring this video. The quirks continue once we're onto the platform with some beautiful ornate signage and ancient cargo weighing scales. While some of Sri Lankan Railways tickets are bookable online, this specific train isn't, from Ella anyway, so we booked in person at the candy ticket office a few days before. Here comes our train now. This once a day in each direction service is hauled by this class M6 diesel loco pulling a mixed freight and three passenger coach consist. The rearmost passenger coach is an observation car with rear facing windows where we'll be sitting today. Let's get on board and check it out. Unfortunately level boarding or any accessibility is just not a thing in Sri Lanka. I'm really not sure why most of the people are getting off here just before the best part of this line. And it's going to stop a while. Wow. Yeah, it's I'd probably going to get a stop a little bit. Oh, do you really get a picture? Speaking of which, let's have a look at our route today.
Planned departure was at 13.24, but the train was late to arrive, so we actually left at 13.46. The 21 km or 13 mile route is scheduled to take 1 hour and 4 minutes of travel time. The observation car tickets are quite a bit more expensive than normal ones, but definitely worth it in my opinion. They cost approximately 1,500 rupees each. Tickets in third class on this route start from just 60 rupees each. Crazy value! Ok, enough of the price, speed, etc, as that's not what this trip is about. The Nine Arch Bridge has become one of Sri Lanka's main tourist attractions for both train enthusiasts, Instagrammers and TikTokers alike. Built by the British in 1921, it spans a 300 foot or 91 meter gorge between Ella and Demodara at a height of 80 feet or 24 meters. As we emerge from the other side of this tunnel, we will immediately start to cross it, so I'll shut up now and let you enjoy it in full. As you can see, it's quite the attraction for both locals and tourists alike, with large crowds gathering for every train. Please use some common sense if you do come here, as either on or off the train, it really can be quite dangerous if you mess around or take stupid risks. If you want ad-free early access to every video, great perks and to help me do bigger and better reviews, then become a channel member from just £1.99 per month. Just click the link above now, or in the description of every video, or the join button below. Thank you! What a great view of the whole train as it rounds the curb ahead. And get a little look at these old wooden sleepers. I wonder when they were last replaced. Even though the doors don't lock or even shut, be careful you don't miss the train if you get off for a photo, like me. Some people just make the trip from Ella to Demodara and then get a taxi back, but there's still some amazing scenery afterwards, so I'd recommend doing the whole trip. Sri Lanka offers some of the best train window views in the whole world. Me and Superalps have now got the observation car to ourselves, so let's check it out after one more great view. The 
seating is in a 2 plus 2 layout with limited legroom. There are comfortable seats with armrests and a good recline. The overhead fans have long since ceased operation, but there are fully opening windows for ventilation and curtains if for some reason you don't like the views. Large luggage racks are available for all your storage needs. All the line is single track with strategic passing places, usually at stations. OK, let's check out the toilets. Despite appearances, it was relatively clean and the toilet, bum gun and tap all worked fine. It's a bring your own toilet roll and soap kind of place though. And at least there was ventilation. Speaking of ventilation, just be careful to hold on tight and look out for errant branches if you do this. There's no power sockets, Wi-Fi or catering on board, or first aid, so do be careful. Check out my India and Sri Lanka playlist for more videos from this lovely part of the world. It's linked above now. This trip has been on my bucket list for quite a while now, so did it live up to expectations? Let me summarise. Crossing the amazing Nine Arch Bridge along with the rest of the spectacular scenery was never going to be disappointing, but for such great value I really can't complain one little bit. And just look at these old semaphore signals. I thoroughly enjoyed my journey today. Yes, the train isn't the best, but for an outright train experience, it's right up there with some of the best trips I've ever done. We arrive after a 59 minute journey, 5 minutes quicker than planned, but 17 minutes after our scheduled arrival of 14.28. Have you been on any of Sri Lanka's trains before? Which route did you do? Leave me a comment below. I'm always open to new video ideas, so leave me a comment or DM on Instagram or Twitter if there's anything you really want to see on the channel. Don't 
Don't forget to subscribe as I publish a new review every Friday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.